everyone, I'm Shannon Morse, and at Gamescom during our live show, I got to speak with Ben Barando, the head of PR in Europe, about all the new 20 series partner cards. Let's check it out. Hey everybody, I am back with a new area, which I'm super excited about because I have Ben here with me. Hi Ben, how are you doing? I'm okay, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. It has been an amazing day. I mean, I am so hyped to hear about everything and you have something that I haven't seen yet. Who is this from? This is from Azus. So this is their latest version of the RTX 2080 Ti. This is their brand new ROG edition. Interesting, okay. So I am very curious because this looks extremely different from the ones we saw during the keynote. So what makes this stand out? What makes this one stand out above some of the others is the fact it has a new design. So it's called a 2.7 slot design. And that means it's slightly bigger than the other cards, but it's optimal design for maximum thermal efficiency. This also has precision machining to create the very best heat sinks. It really is the very best that Azus have built in, uh, in my opinion, in a long, long time. This one is the colorful RTX 2080 Ti. It uses the free coaxial fans again, so it's super quiet. The nice thing if I turn it is it features full RGB lighting, so it really is beautiful. The best thing is for every gamer out there, there will be a card version for you, whether you want something more ostentatious, but all of them offer the, the very same great RTX performance. This is the EVGA RTX 2080. I have a thing for a transparent technology. You gotta make sure that the camera can see this because this is just a beautiful, I absolutely love it. It's so shiny. Even the fan has got tiny EVGA logos <laughs> in there as well. We obviously Ooh. spoke a lot about all of the new ports. You have the VR link port now on the back of all RTX cards, and the backplate is a thing of beauty. So it's a beautifully machined backplate as well. They're absolutely gorgeous. This one is the Galaxy GeForce RTX 2080 Ti Gamer OC. It's really focused on a combination of acoustics, thermals. Again, as you can see, they've gone for the triple array fan design. We also have lovely RGB lighting as well, so I'll just hold this this way. Again, for this card, it's along the top of the card itself. Um, and as you can see, it's got uh, the 2.7 fan, uh, fan slot design as well. So I would say this is a perfect card for a MIDI case or higher system. This is the Gigabyte RTX 2080 Ti. So again, we do have the free axial fans. The nice thing about this one is it contains a full copper black plate. So it is really the very uh, best in kind of passive cooling technology. Again, we also have more RGB lighting for adding a bit of personalization to your system. All the RTX cards we're seeing today, they all feature the same support, a great array of DisplayPort, HDMI, and of course the brand new VR Link as well. What is going on here? So as you hear, I was talking about passively cooled systems. This it has an inbuilt water cooler. So this is Inno 3D's RTX 2080 Ti variant. As you can tell, it comes with a very beefy internal water cooling element. And this is really for the ultimate in silence. So even under load, you're gonna have a very, very quiet system. You have also RGB lighting on this model as well. This logo here can be set up to change color depending on your fan speed, the temperature of the card, without having to delve into all of those settings. This is the MXI X Trio, and this is particularly special because it has a brand new design cooling, this bigger central fan. So this is made like wind tunnel precision tested to make it as quiet as possible. You'll see on the fan itself, you'll see some of the blades have these little indents and pylons, and that's actually to make sure that the air is going through in an efficient manner, but also in a quiet manner. I need to show you the back here as well. <laughs> You're so excited about the back plates, I love it. This one is lovely. It's fully machined aluminum backplate. If you have other MSI features, like a motherboard, for example, you can link it all up and have a, a great system like that. This one is the Palette RTX 2080 Ti. What Palette have done is gone with two fans that obviously are going to be slightly quieter, but to compensate and not compromise on the performance, they've gone for this big fin stack array. And the idea being that we still have ultimate acoustics, fantastic thermals, and the very best performance. Oh yeah, that's absolutely going to help with everything, making this thing super, super quiet, making it super, super cool, and making it run the best that it can absolutely run. This is the Gainwood Phoenix RTX 2080. So again, what you're seeing here is the triple coaxial fan. So you have the two bigger fans here, with like the uh, the fewer fins and then the bigger fan in the middle. And what that means is it's acoustically optimized for the way the air moves around the chassis. The design here I go back to is really nice because I think everyone's gone down a slightly different route. So no matter what you want in your system, there is an RTX card for you. This is the Zotac GeForce RTX 2080 Ti. And again, what you have here is the fans have the little elements on each fan to really quieten the fins that are going onto it. You have your RGB lighting on the top as well, so you can change the color and link it in. You have, again, a lovely backplate. 
fully machined aluminium on the black. It's beautiful. It really is a, a lovingly crafted card. So I think this is a lovely choice for someone that has an entirely all black system. And I believe we have one more to show off tonight. One more card. Oh man, we've seen so many. <laughs> so this is the PNY RTX 2080. And this is a particularly good choice for someone that wants a great value card, maybe in a smaller system again. It is slightly slimmer. They've gone for a slimmer fin stack and the slimmer fans as well. It comes down down to your individual system, exactly what you want to get, what your plans are for future upgrades. But there is undoubtedly a card out there for everyone watching this right now. Ben, I believe that is all of the cards that we could see today. So I absolutely loved it. Thank you so very much again. Thank you very much for your time.